we got 30, but a lot of those points were important points. We were talking about how they stopped runs, killed momentum. How gratifying to hit, to score, but to score points like that, that really means something. Uh, it's timely. Uh, obviously, we had a lead. We, I mean, we built ourselves uh, a pretty decent lead. Um, just knew we had to battle, um, you know, keep Brian out of the paint. Uh, you know, make those other guys beat us, and I think we did a great job of that tonight. So, uh, one more game on Monday, and I'm gonna get out of here. You like the place this team is at? Maybe overcoming any hiccups you might have had. In Absolutely. I mean, you know, uh, this stuff that happens in the regular season, you know, you barely remember it. Uh, you know, when it comes in the playoffs, that's where you want to be playing your best basketball. And uh, last 18 games of the season, um, you know, even though it's a little less than I think we have 15 games left. So. Uh, you know, we just want to play well, and everybody has to step up. Um, but it starts with me, and it starts with my energy out there, and my spirit. And when everyone's uh, on the same page, we're 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 a different team. And um, you know, we weren't doing that consistently uh, throughout the season, and now it's more important than ever for us to have connectivity and be together. And um, that's where that's where my focus is, and you know, that helps me play at a high level when all my teammates are playing at a high level. You guys have. Uh... You've won three straight road games, first time all year you've done that. Mm -hmm. Does that sort of point to what you're talking about, just getting things together? Yeah, yeah. and just making a, um, a choice. Uh, throw yourself in the game, throw yourself in the re uh, rest of the season, throw yourself in the team. Um, you know, we, we have everything to gain. Um, and for us, we've, we've dealt with the expectations, we've dealt with the outside pressures of that infiltrating uh, influence in our locker room, and um, no more time for that. It's about us, and it's about us competing and being well, um, well organized every single time we're out there. And like I said, it starts with me. You're a guy that knows LeBron. How tough time do you think it is for him right now? <laughs> I can only imagine. I just, <laughs> I can only imagine. So um, I feel for him. Uh, obviously, just missing a lot of time, as well as Brandon Ingram. Um, but LeBron's a, a championship. Um, he's, a, he's always been a championship contender, um, and he's such a great player. Um, such a great teammate, and you know, when, when you're not eligible to qualify for the playoffs, it's hard. I can only imagine. So, like I said, I can only imagine. I feel for him. How are, how are you feeling, Perry, after taking that, uh, trying to take a charge on LeBron there? Yeah, after I just talk about how great Bron is, it just it hits me with an elbow. At him. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> you know, that's all part of basketball. Um, you know, I'm okay. All right. And how would you just assess your, like, you talked about connectivity earlier, just where your guys' defense is at, and you know. How you kind of play a part in there? And yeah, well, we there. still can get better. Um, you know, I feel like some plays where they got some leak outs. Teams have been uh, been getting a few too many leak outs on us, and if we limit those baskets and um, make sure that we're at a high level when we're uh, executing offensively, then we're going to be tough to beat. We have enough pieces. We have enough, uh, you know, guys on this team to make a, a very deep run in the playoffs. And right now, it just starts about just finishing off the regular season very, very strong and, um, you know, going out there and feeling good in the playoffs. That's where the fun is. That's where you have the most fun. So.